In this video, we're going to be checking out the form array. And the form array is very similar to the form group. What's nice about the form array is we could push a bunch of different unnamed controls into this form array. So let's say you want to give the user the option to uh, add in as many favorite colors as they want. Well, you can give them a button to click on and the input field will pop out. They put in their favorite color. They could send it in. And they could do this over and over again. They could have a thousand favorite colors and they can push it all into this array and then send all that in. And I'll be showing you something like that in this video. So the first thing we'll do is we'll set up the, our form array control inside the sign up TS file. And then also in the same file, we'll create a property similar to what we did with our username. We'll create a property that will grab that control and we'll be able to do things with that. And then towards the end, we'll set up our HTML. Uh, let's set up our TS file first. Jump into our TS file and then you want to track down the user form and we'll add another property right below the address. I'll add another one. You call this anything you want. In this case, I'll set up a thing where the user can add as many days as they want. And the, it's going to be the days that they're available. So I'll call it days available. Available. And then it's going to be this dot FB. And we already brought that in. And where I'm getting that from, I'll just show you that. That's our form builder. And if we look down in our constructor, we already set this up uh, a long time ago. And actually, we could cut this out of here and bring this to the top. So cut this out. And let's put this right up here so we can see it. So we're bringing in our form builder. And we're also bringing it into our imports from our imports up here from Angular Form. So you want to make sure you got that set up. So now that we did that, we should have an option called array. So array. And then by default, we're going to have a control in here. And it's going to be inside an array like this. So this dot FB, we're using that form builder again. It's going to be control and it's going to be an empty control. So by default, we're going to have one control in here. And that's the way you want that to look. And then also like we did down here with this username, we'll also set up something to get the uh, this property as well. I'll just paste it right above here. And instead of username, it will be days available. So I'll paste that here and here. And then also we're going to set up the ability to push things into this array, like brand new controls. And I'll set up a method for that. So when the user clicks on a button, we're going to call this method and, and you call this anything you want. I'll call it like add a day or something like that. And we'll push something into that array. So this days available dot push. And I forgot to set this as a form array. I keep forgetting to do that as form array. There it is. So it knows what type it is. All right, now that push should show up. Now that it knows it's an array and there it is. Okay, good push. And well, what are we gonna push? We're gonna push in a brand new uh, control. So fb.control and it's gonna be an empty string. So this will push a brand new control whenever that user pushes the button and calls this method. And that's pretty much it that you want to do inside of your TS file. So you want to make sure you do do this and just set up a couple met set up a method and a property like this. Now that our TS file is done, let's set up our HTML. We're going to set up a way to display all the items, all the controls within that within that array to the view. And also we'll set up a button when the user clicks on the button. Uh, it will add a new control to that array for us. And we'll set that up next. And let's open up our HTML. And then at the bottom of this form, right below the address section, we're going to actually be doing something very similar to what we did right here. And I'll close this down. So we'll create another section tag. And instead of using the form group name, we're going to use the form array name now. So I'll create a new section tag right here. And then we'll add in the form array name. And there it is. And it's going to be equal to whatever you named it uh, right here, days available. So, so uh, you want to name it that. Days available. And then right in here, I'm just going to paste a bunch of HTML so you don't have to watch me type it all out. So here we have a bunch of bootstrap classes. It's a row. It gives it a couple columns here, kind of clean it up, make it look prettier. And then um, here is where we're going to have a list of 
controls show up at. I'll show you that in a second. Let's save this and check it out in the browser. This looks really good. And then we'll set up the click event for this button. When the user clicks on it, we'll use that add day method. And it's going to push a new control into an array. And then for each item in that array, we'll display it here as an input field. And they'll just stack on top of each other going down the page. And then, then they can add as many days as they want. Uh, let's get this button working first thing. Inside of the button right here, we'll add a click event. So click. And then we'll use that method we set up called add day. And that will add a new control each time the user clicks on this. And then for each control that's in the array, we'll do this. And we'll use the ng4 directive for that. So ng4. And let day controls. And then also we're going to need the index of each item here. So let, and then I'll just call I, and that's going to be equal to index. All right. And then one more thing we need to do is add on to this input field right here. We're going to bind and use form control name. So uh, form control name, there it is. And that's going to be equal to that index now. So equal index. And that's pretty much it. Save this and everything should be working. Let's try this out in the browser one more time. All right, so let's see if this is working. I'll go ahead and fill out this information. Uh, so the form is valid, so A, A, okay. And then here I add in a day, be Monday, and then add another day. You go all day long adding days if you wanted to. And then I'll call this Friday, okay. And then hit save. And we should be getting this in the console. We're still logging all this information to the console. If we check that out, open up that object, and then there are our days right in the array. That's perfect. I think I covered everything when it comes to reactive forms. If I'm missing anything, just let me know and I'll just add on another video to this course. I'll tack it on to the end. If you've been following along from the beginning, thanks a lot. Don't forget to give likes to the videos and I'll see you in the next course.